A new day, the same old project. I want to modify a rack 8 dB antenna from the US uh, uh, frequencies or standard to European 868 MHz. And what I want to do today is just to check with my nano VNA about the frequencies, you know, about the tuned antenna. First, I have this modified antenna, you know, this, this was an US standard. So uh, let's take a look at this guy. Middle pin, of course, same old trick. You can already see it, you know, it's so damn well tuned on 868. But let's take a look uh, with the Nano VNA Saber. Uh, this is a really nice software, so we are running from 800, okay, let's say 750 megahertz to 950 megahertz. Yep. And of course, calibration. So, we got no adapters, it's zero calibration. And let's see. All right, and you can see it here. I have a almost perfect antenna tuned on 868 megahertz. The CWR here, it's 1.190 and return lows 25.019. So it's almost perfect. Very nice tune. Let's go even farther, 500 to 1200 let's oh look there this is really interesting so i have a dip here 868 and i have another one here <laughs> this is really nice 655 and a real one here 1.5 giga but of course it's not the same you see so we got 1.172 well it's looking like harmonics or anyway this is interesting but so far 800 megahertz to 900 and 30 megahertz let's say this antenna behave absolutely great look there even better 1.093 and you know this depends on the position on the metals around and i'm a kind of ground anyway to this antenna now so all right so Let's see the other guy, the rock antenna, you know, that's, that's really big, you know, it's really long. It's good to have these measurements to, to have a clear strategy about what can we do with this. This one is really long, it's 88 centimeters, 8 dB. Wow, look here, oh my God. All right, sweep. And you should laugh about, but we have a really nice, <laughs> on 868, this is crazy. Are you kidding me? It's perfect on 868. <laughs> Almost. All right. 868, 1.82. You know something, guys? So, so far, it's looking like this one is tuned almost perfect to 868. <laughs> It's my machine getting crazy. Let's calibrate again. All right. Let's try 700 mega to 1000. And zip. <laughs> so the best result, it's at 
871.96 with 1.026 and we got here okay what's the fabric oh 862 866 all right 887.67 and we have a 1.08 you know guys <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> this is so funny you know <laughs> this is perfect on a68 so this one will go right now up on the roof right now And I'll take my Mugil from up there to see how it behaves on the on the nano VNA. I can't believe it. It's supposed to be 930. Okay, uh, let me put it away. I'm not touching anything. Once again. Okay. 875. Oh, it changed a little bit. And now it's the wall. Strip. So the best results it's on 877. But we still have a very good uh, 8 369. Yes. Okay. So nothing to do for now i will just plant it on the roof and see the results in the meantime i'll check the mugil about the tuning okay so here i have mugil 6 db uh, i just uh, went down from the roof so far excellent uh, results and uh, let's uh, connect the nano vna to the computer Let's change here 800 megahertz to 930 megahertz. All right, calibration, load calibration. We just have a, an adapter. Okay, perfect. And let's have a test. You see, I'm not using any cable. It's just a, an adapter to uh, SMA kind of straight connection I hope I'm not breaking my nano VNA and sweep what do you think man it's amazing good 864 1066 oh yes no doubt but you know i have it in my hand i don't know how to proceed okay i put it down on the floor we'll have different results yeah sure but you know i'll put the blue one on 868 okay let's follow the blue one i don't know how to do with this guy okay it's in the air Well, no doubt, it's a really nice antenna. Yeah, that's very clear. Okay, so remember this one with, um, with these results. And let's plug mine, the modified one. And by the way, this was modified by the McGill uh, dimensions and measurements <laughs> okay mm. that's nice how can I say nice try huh I don't want to touch anything nothing 
Oh, come on. 800. Mega. 2. 930 mega. Are you there? Calling Earth. Oh, oh, calibration I forgot about. One adapter. Let's go. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. Almost AC. 1.239. It can be used. Of course, McGill is far superior. But it's McGill. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. I'm I just waiting to, to see the results with uh, the 8 dB rack on the on the um, roof. So, few hours late. I think it's five hours or something later. You know, the rack is up on the roof and I have some results and really promising results. And look at this guy here. This witness is 20 kilometers away. Or better said, I witnessed a beacon 20 kilometers away. And this is huge, you know. I never ever had anything like that. And uh, I'll try to look who's this guy. But as long as I didn't get it before, <laughs> I can't have any compare. All right. So it's looking like rockets working, guys. Thank you. <laughs> A very interesting turn of the situation. With this kind of results, I don't think I'm going to make any modification to the antenna. It's working. It's purely working. So maybe it was just a, a mislabel or something, you know. But look here, saying very clear, 900 to 930. All right. So I'll test the other antenna because I have two. And I'll see what is happening. It's very possible. You know, in fact, the first antenna I was testing here, it was made for you, uh, I mean, supposed to be for Europe, 868 labeled. And in fact, it was uh, for US, you know, 900 to 930, I, re I recall. Anyway, doesn't uh, really matter because I fixed that antenna, but I'm really happy. These two rocks antenna, 8 dB, they are absolutely in very nice shape, bright new, and of course, <laughs> tuned for 868 at least one i don't know about the other one so lucky me lucky me okay that's it for today i'll be back with news in the meantime please like please subscribe push the button down there and uh, of course don't forget to have fun bye bye oh.